Uh, what's up gamers today we're gonna be playing some fortnite and let me tell you i am pretty darn good at fortnite don't be shit talking me on, on fortnite or i'm gonna catch you and reggie in the battlefield and we're gonna tear that ass up with, with some with some pumps and some some gray tacks watch out watch your backs guys here we go i'm gonna be landing it salty today and uh, it's gonna be pretty epic. We're looking for that victory, out, boys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh Christ! How did this happen? How did this happen? I don't know how it happened, but the point is, I'm not playing Fortnite. Uh, I'm gonna do talk about music, and I'm gonna talk about it in a minion suit, cause this is entertainment, everybody. Entertainment. Music time. Talk about album. Hi, I am Seth, and uh, this is a, a thing I'm doing now. It's called Seth's gonna ramble about stuff and try and make jokes in a very uh, dimly lit room because his lights are shit. He doesn't have Christmas lights. He has no actual thing to light a room with, and the best light he has is from the God-given sun on this beautiful planet Earth. So, also, um, so I was going to do a little meme where I was playing a, a song called Learn How to Eat Your Vegetables, 32 Minutes, Fun, Hashtag Learning with Hashtag Little Baby Bum by Little Baby Bum, which is the name of a kid's animation channel on YouTube. I don't know what to think about that, but here's what I do know to think about, and I think about things, believe it or not. Uh, this one is going to be about an album. It's the first thing I want to talk about an album that uh, I've started recently getting back into and I forgot how great it was. Um, it's by Brian Eno, released in 1972, 1978, sorry. It's called Ambient One, Music for Airports. Brian Eno is a musician man, uh, or as he says, he's a non-musician, that's what he calls himself, he's a fucking legend. He's worked with uh, people like Bowie, um, the Talking Heads, and King Gizzard, not King Gizzard, sorry, King Crimson, not King Gizzard. Um, but he's he's revolutionized the way people do music production. He's revolutionized the sound of stuff. I mean, the guy worked with fucking David Bowie and Talking Heads. Like, come on, you can't get better than that. And uh, he was sitting at an airport one day, and he was like, "Man, this songs, the music they're playing in these airports is fucking." He called it canned. He thought it was shitty. He thought it was stupid and dumb, kind of like a blue face. But he said, "You know, I'm gonna make myself a new. I'm gonna make myself an album, and I'm I'm gonna pay airports to play it because it's so it's gonna be so fucking awesome." And what came out was this album right here. This album right here. Um, it's called Music for Airports. This is what the album art looks like. And this is the back track listing. It's got four tracks. It's 48 minutes long. And uh, the names are on there. Can't you read them? Those are the names. You can't read that, right? Yeah. I can't. And, uh, yeah. It, ambient music is kind of a weird one because people think it's like... It's not. It's not really like that hard to make. It's. You, it's fucking ambient. You're supposed to not pay attention to it. You know himself was like, yeah, this this isn't really for active listening. It's just to put on and put you in a relaxed state of mind, which it does. But I mean, people people think of Minecraft. They always talk about how great the music is in that game, and that's because it's ambient and it fits the atmosphere of the game really well. And uh, that's what this does. It creates this fucking like atmosphere of just relaxation, helps you clear your mind, just kind of hang out and listen to it. I like to read to it. I like to uh, just put it on like I'm driving and I'm not really feeling like, oh, maybe I don't want to listen to fucking Death Grips this morning. Maybe I don't want to listen to Mount It Up again. Um, so I'm just going to put on something that I can just chill out and relax to. Maybe like have a conversation. Like if you got two people in the car, you're just trying to talk, but still something on the radio, put on some fucking Brian Eno music for airports. Um, so uh, as far as the music on the album goes, the first track is called One One. And in One One, the main highlight of the song is a piano melody. And uh, actually interesting enough, he... In in the linear in the liner notes for it, Brian Eno said that I had four musicians in the studio and they were doing some imp improv improvising improvis improvising improvising improv. I'm just gonna say um, that he that he thought they should do, and the musicians couldn't hear each other at the time, and they played these two both of them two different guys played these same uh, little sections, and their lines were like. They fit very well together, and so he just said, "Yeah, fuck it," and he just put them both on the 
song and they just kind of that, that's the mainstay of the like the reoccurring sound is the piano but it kind of dips in and out they'll throw different notes here and there um he plays in a half speed sometimes like a little bit faster and they they're just there's a loop they just loop but it's really you can't ever really tell that they're looping like you can't be sure that it isn't the same thing you've heard you can't be sure that like nothing new is happening because you aren't really paying attention to it and that's kind of the point of it um, they're really, really soft. He turned down the volume on it. Um, it sounds, they just sound like they're soaked in like this fucking like white wine that just like makes you fucking, just makes you just sit there like, yeah, yeah, this is the good shit. This is that good shit. And then that song goes on for like 18 minutes, I think. Um, it isn't you never want to skip it either because you'll listen to it and people are like oh 18 18 second or 18 minute song that sucks 18 minute song i don't want that no way i'll listen i can listen to like a whole album in 18 minutes i can listen to at least uh three songs off of culture too in that time but as may as true as that may be it is so it's you, you don't want to skip it because you think you're going to miss something. Because it does sound so pretty. It's so fucking gorgeous the way the album is composed. And then it goes into 2 1 and uh, 1 2. And these are um, the main stay of these tracks are these vocals. Some of these, uh, two, these three women, and you know, uh, he's singing on it too. They aren't singing lyrics. They're kind of doing like, you know, how if you open up Halo for, you know, open up Halo and it's like, oh. You know, it, it's 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 like kind of weird, and uh, these are just like really heavenly, wispy, ghostly vocals that um, they aren't really sequenced. They don't really have a time measure. They just kind of come in and come out and come back in, or hold for a little bit longer, or come out a little bit shorter, and uh, it makes it easier to listen to because it doesn't sound like it's a loop. You're like, oh, maybe like. Is this is this different? Is this new? Is this something different? What's going on here? Brian, you know, what are you doing? And that's kind of the point of it. It's pretty great. And that one's like seven minutes. Th those three, those two songs are like um, seven minutes. And the third track, the one, two, maybe it's two, one. That's how they keep track. There's fucking numbers, not even in order. On the third track, it's the vocals, and there's another piano little melody in there that complements them really nicely, and those fade in and out. Uh, and then the, the closer track uh, is 2-2, two, two, and it's just pure, it's it, just a synthesizer, and it's a really good way to um, to close it out because the other songs are very subdued and laid back and uh, different. They're really, compared to this one, it sounds like the credits for like a sci-fi movie from the 80s, and uh, it gets, it feels overwhelming compared to the other ones because the other ones are so stripped back and not a lot going on. But this one is kind of just like a fucking wall of fucking synth sound that just hits you right on your Not your Not your I'm going to bleep that out. I'm going to bleep it. I'm going to say hits you right on your Bleep it. The album is 48 minutes. Just listen to it. Just once. Just listen to it from me. Listen to it from me. Because if you like Minecraft, you like this music in Minecraft, you'll really like this. And it isn't something you want to like. You listen to every single day or listen to it multiple times a day. It's kind of a mood thing. When you're like, oh, I'm gonna read a book, put it fucking on. You're like, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna stare at a candle burning for for an hour. Put this on. If you're gonna make it to pancakes, put it on. You're on a sunset drive with your girlfriend, and she isn't talking to you because she's mad, and you just want to listen to some music. And if you guys are both relaxed at the end of it, you tell each other that you love each other so much, and you're sorry you're fighting. Put it on. Put it on. That'll fix it. Um, yeah, that's me. Um, oh, um, uh, quick, quick meme going on here. I. When I put on the, that little baby bum, I put on the little baby bum song. Um, my my dorm, my sweet mate walked in the bathroom and he heard me playing the baby bum song. Uh, so that's a thing now. I'm sipping on my uh, diet coke back here. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing this. These videos are kind of weird. I'm not really good at it. I mean, that's my first one, but who knows? I mean, it depends on if you guys care. My people on Twitter that are watching this video, uh, I don't know. I don't know you guys are gonna think about it. It's just a fucking album. Uh, but give it a listen, and I'll try and um, do some more stuff and talk about music or movies or uh, fucking um, my favorite porn star or whatever. 
and I'll try to make it this like I don't really know how to be funny while I'm talking about this I'm just trying to like recommend stuff and talk to you and it's uh, a little harder for me to throw some memes in there but I'll put a meme right here and right there and right now and uh fuck Ronald Reagan but yeah that's the album Eat your vegetables!